Today we're going to talk about this, um, what are we talking about? Split jerk recovery. Split jerk recovery. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, so what we're doing with um, the split jerk recovery is going to feel a little bit strange um, from what you would normally think to do, but it is very, very important that you learn to recover correctly. So Kelsey is going to pick up the bar. She is going to split jerk it overhead. Now you can see her lead foot, and you can see her um, her toe planted there. Now, the most natural way to recover is not going to be what we're going to do. The first step in recovery is that the front foot goes back. Then the back foot slides up. Okay, let's show that one more time. She was to recover with the back foot first. Let's see what happens. Okay, the transfer of power when she's overhead, if she tries to step this foot forward, all of the weight is going to come onto the front foot. And if it's a heavy load, you're going to dump it forward. Okay, because that is where your momentum is going. When we press a bar overhead, the sweet spot here is going to need to be maintained. No matter what. So let's show us what she's got. This is where she has the most control of this bar. The bar stays, she moves. We do not move the bar. Excellent. So we allow the bar to stay in the sweet spot so that we can make sure that it is maintained overhead with strong midline engagement and we make sure that we are not moving the bar at all, which is going to open up a margin for error. You move, the bar doesn't. Front foot comes back, back foot comes up. Split jerk recovery. It's gonna feel a little awkward at first, but just hang with it. Practice with your broom and your PVC pipe, and eventually it'll become muscle memory and you won't even notice it. Start doing that shit with like your kid, you'll be good. <laughs> 